continents, and islands. We all live on one, unless you're in the middle of the ocean, in which case you will not be living in it for very long. So you may be curious as to how your continent or island got its name, Asia. The ancient Greeks called the east bank of the Aegean Sea Asia, which would later be used to describe the entire Anatolian Peninsula and later the entire continent. The word Asia probably came from the Akkadian word Azu, meaning to rise, referencing how the sun rises in the east. Europe. Europe is named after the mythological queen of Crete, Europa. Africa. The ancient Romans called the northern part of this continent Terra Africa, or Land of the Afri. The Afri was what the Romans called the people from ancient Libya. The origin of the name Afri is uncertain, but it may have come from the Phoenician Afar, meaning dust, or the Berber Ifri, meaning cave, or the Berber tribe, the Banu Ifran. Antarctica. Antarctica comes from Antarcticos, meaning opposite to the Arctic. Real creative name there, guys. So I guess we should start calling Argentina Ant China, Botswana Ant Hawaii, New Zealand Ant Spain, Fiji Ant Mali, Philippines, Ant, Brazil. Arctico comes from the Greek word for the constellation Ursa Major, Arcto, which can only be seen in the Northern Hemisphere. North and South America. The Americas are named after Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci, who explored the coastlines of Brazil and Venezuela, and was among the first to suggest that the Americas were a new continent. So cartographer Martin Waldesmuller named the continent after Amerigo Vespucci. Amerigo himself was named after Saint Emmerich of Hungary, who himself is believed to have been named after his uncle, St. Henry II of the Holy Roman Empire. So the continents are basically just called North Henry and South Henry. Australia. The ancient Romans believed that there was a large landmass in the Southern Hemisphere, which they called Terra Australis Incognitus, meaning unknown southern land. So when people discovered Australia, a large landmass in the Southern Hemisphere, they called it Australia. Greenland. Greenland isn't all that green. It isn't even all land. But it's still called Greenland because Vikings. Eric the Red tried to make the island more appealing to would-be settlers. New Guinea. New Guinea is an island in the Southwest Pacific. Guinea is a West African nation. The name comes from the fact that the West Africans sailed around the continent and across the Indian Ocean and started an empire. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. They didn't do that. It actually comes from Spanish explorer Inigo Ortiz de Retez, who said that the natives of the island looked like the natives of the Guinea region of Africa. Racist. Borneo. The name for the island of Borneo comes from the kingdom of Brunei, which is on the island. The name Brunei likely comes from the Sanskrit word Varuna, meaning either ocean or the name of the Hindu deity of the ocean. Madagascar. The name Madagascar comes from the Somali port Mogadishu, which Marco Polo thought was the island. Baffin Island. Baffin Island was named after 19th century explorer William Baffin, though he didn't actually discover the island, as Martin Frobisher landed there in 1576. However, many people believe that Vikings landed there in the 11th century, as the Icelandic sagas mention a land called Heluland. Heluland comes from the Old Norse word Hela, meaning flat stone, and land meaning, you know, Sumatra. Sumatra comes from the Sanskrit word Tuanadwipa, meaning island of gold, because the island has many gold deposits. 